Hey, 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 it's your boy Jay Hardcore, Hardcore Boxing News, back at you with what's happening in the world of boxing. What we got today is Mauricio Suleiman, the uh, president of WBC, was on the Boxing Voice uh, this weekend, and they were talking in reference to uh, the WBC allowing Keith Thurman and Earl Spence to fight at 154. And it was kind of weird for the simple fact, what makes it all weird is he's the mandatory for 147, but they're going to fight at 154. And everybody's been asking the questions, well, if he's the mandatory at 147, but they're going to fight at 154, meaning that there's no belts involved, how does that take care of the mandate for 147? You know, and we all been just clamoring about that in the boxing world, wondering exactly how does this actually work? And does this fight satisfy that the whole thing? I mean, how can it satisfy is my question. But uh, I do have a recording of what uh, Mr. Suleiman had to say about the issue. So just hold on. It's about a minute and 46 seconds. So, but it's some good stuff. So you want to hear it all the way out. taking place at 54 will that still satisfy the mandatory for the wbc or is that on hold well that's a fight that the wc ordered and uh, it's a great fight between two top level fighters um it is not now uh new that it's going to be over the weight uh we will wait until the fight uh takes place and we will assess after the event to see what has happened uh, the WBC has been a strong supporter to see Spence Crawford. And uh, we had all year uh, all the uh, flexibility. When that did not materialize and uh, Crawford decided to fight, uh, take another fight, the WBC uh, ordered the mandatory, which is Thurman. Now it's in over the 147 uh, division. We will see what happens after the fight. So when you say you will see what happens, there's a possibility that after the fight, that fight can potentially satisfy the 147 pound mandatory, or is there no way that the rules allow for him to fight above the weight without the title on the line and still satisfy the mandatory? Well, it will be an official WBC event. Uh, that is certain. Um, I don't want to speculate. I just want to see uh, the fight take place. The... The other ranked fighters, um, Ortiz, he is committed to another organization. So there is no hurry right now. Let's see what happens in the fight, and then we will assess once we have all the the facts of what happened in the inside the ring. Wow, I'm more confused after this conversation than I was before. The reason why I say that is. He just said that, well, we're going to let them fight first. And then once we fight and whatever happens in the fight would allow us to make a decision if the mandate is going to be satisfied or not. What? That makes no sense whatsoever. I mean, you're telling me there's no rules about what, how this is supposed to happen or anything? There's no rule that says, hey... If you're fighting at 147 and you're the mandatory, you must or you must not uh, satisfy in that particular division. You have to fight in that division to receive the belt if you win the fight. I mean, if anybody should be pissed, Keith Thurman should be pissed. The reason why I say that is, let's just say that he beats Earl Spence. Okay, and that's all. You win. You beat him. But Spence can go back at 147, and you all have to fight for the belts. <laughs> this makes no sense whatsoever. The guy said he don't want to have to speculate. You shouldn't have to speculate. The reason why you shouldn't have to speculate is because you all write the rules. Write the, or go in your rule book and find out what is the rule pertaining to this. Now, let's make it up as we go. What type of fragonacle bullcrap is this? 
I mean, the boxing game, man, you got to love it because <laughs> nobody controls it. There's no real overall commission that says, hey, this, 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 this must happen, and this is how it's going to be, like how you have in baseball, basketball, football, hockey, soccer. No. In boxing, we, we'll make it up. We'll watch the fight, then I'll let you know what our decision is. So basically what he's saying is if Earl wins the fight, nobody going to see uh, uh, Thurman mandate at 147 again. Nobody going to want to see it. It already shows that he'll win. I mean, come on, man. If I was Keith Thurman, I would not take that crap. But obviously he must be going to be making a lot of money for this fight. And hey, I'm at the twilight of my career. I better take what I can get and roll on out. That's boxing for you. But this is your boy, Jay Hardcore, Hardcore Boxing News. I'm sorry I got a little heated right there because it made no sense to me whatsoever. But that's the sport of boxing. That's why we love it. It's crazy. It's just how it is. No rules. We still behind the barn fighting. <laughs> Hey, please like, follow, share so we can move further up in this uh, 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 algorithm. I, you know, I'm an older guy. I don't understand none of that type stuff. But they say if you like, if you share, and if you subscribe, the more people that does that, it moves our show up further. So let's just follow the rules and do that. It's your boy, Jay Hardcore. I'm out of here.